We know about people who drink a lot and still they don't get any kind of liver diseases. What is the possible reason behind it? It's very interesting. You know, if you have about a hundred people who drink a lot, say for example, uh, people on the highways, for example, you know, there are certain groups of people where alcohol consumption is pretty high. Eighty uh, percent of them do not die of liver cirrhosis. They live on till their usual age and die of other natural causes. Only 20% develop liver cirrhosis. And the question is why only those 20%? Whereas everybody has been drinking almost the same amount. So that brings us to the question of genetics. So you know when we consume alcohol, the way alcohol is metabolized in the body, in the liver for instance, depends on a set of genes that we have. So in some of us, the way alcohol is metabolized, so some of these metabolites actually are very toxic to the body and toxic to the liver. So they go rapidly downhill, whereas with others, if the metabolism is something which is a little more innocuous, you know, they don't seem to develop liver cirrhosis. So it's very paradoxical. And that's the reason why some people get trapped. So a person who has developed alcoholic liver disease, uh, when you try counseling him, he often tells, but you know, my other friends drink and nothing is happening to them. So they use that as a justification that why they shouldn't be allowed to go back to their alcohol. But what people have to understand is that the genetic basis of alcoholic disease varies from a person to person. So some may be much more toxic to alcohol than others. So if I rightly understand this, it is because of the genetics yes. and because of genetics people have different metabolism which affect their intake capacity for alcohol. I might as well add, Angshika, genes determine two factors of alcohol. One is, you would have noticed that you know, uh, once a batch of college students take to alcohol or they are introduced to alcohol, most of them do not become alcoholics. That is, they don't become addicted to alcohol. But very few do. So again, the propensity for developing addiction depends on a set of genes. And the propensity for alcohol to cause damage to the liver or organs also depend on a set of genes. So a good bit of what we ultimately become is determined by our genetic makeup.